Ball facts. Mitch Kupchak was asked about Leangelo Ball. Showed up about a month ago with his brother, and uh, you know they would come by at odd hours. You know we allow, you know our st our players to have a workout partner. You know they can come in, you know in the morning on odd hours or in the afternoon or at night and come back, and they would be working out together. And then on open scrimmage days, you know they would he would scrimmage, and um, you know. Yeah, I guess to answer your question, uh, we are going to present him with an invite. And I can't confirm at Summer League what we're going to do is have four days of practice, I think beginning on the 3rd of August or maybe the 4th, uh, four consecutive days here in Charlotte. And we'll probably bring in, you know, probably 18 to 20 players, and he'll be one of them. And if they play well in those four days, then they'll get an invite to go to Vegas with the team. And we hope to be able to just bring 12 guys to Vegas. A lot of times it ends up being more closer to 14. And you know, the more players you bring, then it's harder to play them all. So we do try to keep the number down to 12, but it'll probably go to 14. And that would be the plan with him. And he's been uh, great to, to be around. Uh, I'm sure Mello appreciates it. He's got a guy that uh, he could, you know, hang out with and uh, come to the gym with and rebound and shoot. Uh, so it's been good for him. And, you know, he's a Division One player. He was a player that was recruited and played for UCLA. Uh, he's a real, you know, talent. Uh, whether he's good enough right now, you know, that remains to be seen. Um, but he's fitting right in on the scrimmages that we play on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And, um, and yeah. Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll bring him to that four day camp and we'll go from there. Mitch, thanks for not avoiding the question about Leangelo. Now, he said, we allow our star players to bring workout partners. The Hornets know they have one on their hands. And we all knew, but we were hoping that they knew that they could see who they should build around. Gordon Hayward's getting hurt. Terry Rozier is a small guard. And LaMelo just seems to be the obvious fit for the future. And it's good that LaMelo sees LiAngelo in his future at the Hornets because it wasn't too long ago that LaMelo was struggling himself, struggling bad. LaMelo Ball, a guy who from the outside has struggled so far this season. I mean, I'm not playing how I could. It's going bad. Oh, Melo with the... Melo pulling up from way on the... Obvious, he showed up to play defense. And he definitely played a ton of defense. We now, we now. Greg Floyd is a, a tall 6'9 forward who I, I mentioned to you all to, to the, the culture of basketball there. Second straight game, he is fouled out. The key players for this LA team is obviously... Hurry up, hustle up, hustle up, no walking. Come on, we only got a couple hours. Pull him up, pull him up, pull him up. Less conversation and let's concentrate on what we're doing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Lay up. Come on, game shot. Hey, you're not gonna shoot in the game like that. That ain't gonna work. Come on, game shots, guys. Quit playing around. Slides. Damn. Look at Melo. Stay low. Ah, that's looking sloppy. Go. Stay low. Low. Come on. All the way back. He's on demo. We flew a couple thousand miles to see a team that looked like a hot mess in practice. Uh, oh, my. They need to cut that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if I was in this practice, things would be different because I'll go hard. Yeah. Grab it. Yeah, it wasn't all that. So right now I could go overseas or just wait for a G League team or something. So right now I'm just waiting on my option. I, mean, I feel like I could help the LA team and bring them wins. So I made my decision and decided to join the JBA. That's what I'm going to do, especially because Melo's on there. I'm good. That's my man. Ready to the free club, boy. I'll be on y'all, but we got it. In that last clip, LeVar said, way to stand up for your brother. Everybody remembers when LaMelo slapped that guy overseas, but the second thing you remember is Leangelo running through, spearing the dude like Goldberg. He taught his sons how to take up for each other, how to look out for each other. He's often told stories and said, don't come home if you don't have all three. If one of y'all get kidnapped, all of y'all get in the van. <laughs> Now we're gonna talk about the real chances of Jello making it or not, but I first wanna do a flashback of these two playing together because you might need to be reminded. We have two balls in the starting fight. 
coach got to understand that my two boys together is something special, and they'll go to another level. If you play them together, they are awesome. Unstoppable. Ball. Another good sign during Mitch's interview was he started kind of justifying why he's giving Leangelo a shot, talking about he's a D1 athlete, talking about UCLA, saying that he is a real talent. And whether people like it or not, he comes from a family of hoopers. You'd have to give him the benefit of the doubt. The score after the first half is 37 to 35. I don't like the way it's going because he's playing the boys not together. I think it's going to be very hard for them to win without playing my boys together. Yeah, boy, let's roll it, Let me go. That tag team ain't no joke. the best performance they gotta put me and Melo on the court together because we know how each other do we know our strengths we got a different swag right now y'all we overseas like flying over water Sometimes looking back on the past is a good thing to remind you of the chemistry that these two have together, to remind you that LaMelo's not just trying to get his brother in the door for no reason. He wouldn't throw his brother under, under the bus. If LaMelo really thought Jello wasn't that good, he wouldn't bring him there. But you heard Mitch Kupchak, he said he's been in our scrimmages and he's doing well for all the people that said he hasn't played five on five. He's been playing that in Detroit. He played in OKC Blue and now with the Hornets. In their scrimmages, he's holding his own, and they like what they see. Mitch said he's a real talent. Now, he doesn't want to give too much away. That's why he says, you know, we still have to wait and see. And out of 20 players, can Leangelo be selected? Four days, August 3rd or the August 4th, he said, out of those 20 players, whoever does the best, they will get invited to the summer league. Now, the Hornets see what happened with Giannis and his brother in the Bucks, keeping their star players happy. So on one hand, you want to keep LaMelo happy. On the other hand, LiAngelo can hold his own with NBA caliber players. Tyler Cook already told us that. Now Mitch Kupchak is telling us that. LaVar has been told us that. LaMelo and Lonzo have told us that. When are we going to believe these high profile players that have expertise in what they're talking about? When? When LaMelo was struggling in the JBA, LiAngelo came through and helped him win that championship. And now we see that the brotherly love is being returned. I'll keep you updated. Ball facts again. Peace.